Where I'd like to begin our conversation is with your first experience of working here with Harvey Lichtenstein. Do, what would that have been the first time you worked here? The first time working here at BAM was in 1977 following the performances of Einstein in Avignon. That's where I met Harvey. Uh, and he, I guess he must have learned at that particular point in time that I had a small company, yeah. um, which I'd had by the, uh, for four years. It was a relatively new company. Yeah. And he invited us to come to perform in the Leperc space. In the Leperc space? In the Leperc space. And it was... Um, an evening with no music, okay. <laughs> five pieces, you know, so-called silent works, very, very difficult works, very intense, and uh, it was just really thrilling. It was our first time to have that kind of exposure. So, then the next time that you would appear here would be at the Opera House? Is that In the Opera House, two years later. I, it was before the Next Wave Festival, but it was nevertheless yeah. a, a perform the first performance of dance. Correct. With the solo at film and Phil, Phil Glass and my company again. But my, by then, my company had grown. <laughs> right. And we were dancing for the first time with Phillips Music. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had the great pleasure of working together for the first time in 1984. Right. Uh, when... Uh, we were all collectively involved in the reconstruction of Einstein on the Beach, and you were commissioned to create the choreography and perform. <laughs> uh, that was a, an extraordinary commitment on your part to, uh, what was your, what do you recall about that time, 1984, and, well, it was an enormous challenge yeah, you know, to, to recreate my role and to do, you know, it was, it was a lot of work of the solo and all the performing parts and then, <clears throat> but I was also um, so pleased to bring my company into yeah. the project yeah. because it wasn't just a group of dancers, it was dancers who had been working with me, they had yeah. done available light the year before yeah. and um, they were, you know, back at BAM the following year with, yeah. with the Einstein yeah. project. And the commission um, was such that um, I, of course, knew the music and I was familiar with the music, but it was really something to, yeah. to create the two field dances. Create your and, art, yeah. your art, <laughs> to that music. Yeah. Now, let's move then in time and space to the current production, uh, a new company of dancers. And are there changes in your choreography for this edition? In terms of the very first field dance, it's more or less almost exactly identical to the version of 1984. However, uh, the second field dances, I did make some changes. It's been 20 years since the last revival. And this is a new group, and a group that I've been with for four years. Right or have had for four years. And I, di I did make some changes in the second field dances, and I feel that uh, I feel very good about it. I mean, I'm very happy with, yeah, with the changes. I think, I think that, that they both, both dances look very strong. What, what can, uh, can you summarize as what, about working at BAM? What does it mean, has it meant to you? And well, it's always been, um, for my company, it's like the, you know a major any time we have where I've appeared at BAM, which has been many times. It's a home season, you know. That this feels like almost like a home for us, you know, and that we have the privilege of touring so much all over the place, right. Australia, Japan. You know. But always to be here is something very very special, and it's a time when I make sure that every single dancer, even some of the um, People just who have been covering, who've learned the dances, they actually are going to get a chance to perform. So everybody gets there, gets a chance to perform. Fantastic. Because this is a big event for, for them wonderful. and for us. It's wonderful. Well, Bam would like to give you a gift. <laughs> Thank you. I think, therefore, I Bam. Thank you, Lucinda Childs. <laughs>